It's Damon and Joe, and we made it to Costa Rica. So we studied, we saw it all, and we're gonna show you. After studying abroad in Mexico, in Quito, Ecuador, we decided that we were gonna go to Costa Rica and finish studying Spanish at Academy Columbus. So if you're interested in coming to the Santo Domingo location, number one, you should. Number two, it's a very traditional town. So I mean, we were walking downtown one day and we saw the marching band. There was a marching band and we wanted to cheer them on because it just felt so right. I felt like I was part of the high school alumni. <laughs> We are at a fair in the middle of Santo Domingo de Heredia and all the local people are out. They are out and they are going in the bounce house they are getting cotton candy, <laughs> caramel apples, what more do you want? Let's go on a ride! And if you want the big city feel, don't worry, you can always jump on the bus and it only takes 10 to 15 minutes to get to San Jose. So Santo Domingo de Heredia is a small town. It's ideal for learning Spanish because you go to school, you come home and you study. The school in Costa Rica is a really big house. It's a mansion, actually, and there are so many different classrooms, and they even have a garden. When there's a smile on your professor's face, and everybody's laughing, it doesn't matter if you're making mistakes in Spanish. You're no, speaking. You are speaking, and it's a comfortable environment to speak. You can choose four hours or more a day, and you can choose to learn in a group or by yourself. It's up to you. When you have a break from class, everybody eats breakfast together. They prepare the food together, they eat together. We were part of it, and it was something that I really felt was genuine to the Costa Rican location. While living here, we stayed in the shared apartments for Academia Columbus students, and we had so much fun living in the apartments. Another option is living in a host family if you'd like. The school always organizes events. We went paintballing. <laughs> We had dinners together. We partied at night in the school. Party time. Another excursion is a trip with the school to a coffee plantation. First of all, Costa Rica is known for its coffee. Traditional Costa Rican coffee plantation. We actually were able to go to the restaurant where they make coffee out of the beans picked from the farm. We went on an excursion to visit Hot Springs and we rode the craziest slide. We went to Parque Manuel Antonio, which is by the beach in the south of Costa Rica. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful location in the middle of a rainforest where you see so many different species of spiders, crickets, monkeys. You got it all there. In conclusion, if you're looking to learn Spanish in a traditional town where you can travel on the weekends, meet awesome people, come to Costa Rica. Okay, queremos decirle a todo el mundo, ¡Pura vida!